Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a square grid as well as a circle grid. I made a series on introduction to creative coding and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use a nested loop to draw a square grid as well as a circle grid. To draw a grid, you need to identify three things. First, the number of columns that you want to draw. Second, the number of rows that you want to draw. And then the third is the size of the square or the circle that you want to draw. That's going to give you the spacing between each of the square and each of the circle. So first, let's create three variables. So let columns let rows and let size. There are two ways that you can approach this. The first way is that you can give the value of the size. For example, I give the value of the size of my square or circle to be 100 pixel. And then within the setup function, I can calculate the number of columns that I'm going to draw based on the size of the width and then the size of each of the square, right? So it would be width divided by size. So it would be 400 divided by 100, which is four. So we're going to have a total of four columns. Same as rows, we would do height divided by size, right? So now, because we identify the size to be 100 pixels, we have four columns and four rows. The second way that you can do is that instead of identifying the size that you want, in this case, 100 pixels, you can instead identify the number of columns that you want to draw and the number of rows that you want to draw. Let's say that you want to draw a total of eight columns and four rows, right? So you need to create another variable. So size, I would do column size and row size. And then within the setup function, you can calculate the column size by doing width divided by columns, right? And then row size would be height divided by rows. You will have a total of eight columns and four rows. And column size would be 50, right? 400 divided by eight. And row size would be 100 pixels. I want to draw a grid that is of the same size. So instead of having eight columns and four rows, I'm going to do four by four. Now we're going to use a nested loop to draw our grid. So what do we need? We need two for loops, right? One nested inside the other. So four, and then inside this, we need a counter variable. The first one is gonna be named i. If i is less than columns, right? Then we increment it up. And then the second for loop would be if j is equals to zero, j is less than rows, right? And then we increment it up. We go from the counter variable i starting from zero to i less than columns and columns is four right so we go from zero one two three so we want to draw a total of four columns and j also goes from zero to three as well because j is less than four right so zero one two three so we're going to have a grid of four by four of a total of 16 squares to draw a square we can use a function called rect and rect takes in a total of four arguments. The first two are the x and y coordinate of the top left point of that square. And then the third and the fourth are the width and the height. So what should we put in as the first two arguments of the rect function? i goes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3. So what we want is that we want i times column size, right? because we want to draw a total of four squares, right? So it would be i times column size. So when i equals to zero, column size is 100, right? So it would start with zero. When i equals to one, the next x coordinate would be 100, and then the next one would be 200, and then the next one would be 300. Same thing for the second argument. We would do j times row size. And then what would be the third and the fourth? It would be column size and row size. And there you go. So now we have a total of 16 squares. And now you can change the number of columns or the number of rows as you wish, right? So now that I show you how to do a square grid, what if we want to do a circle grid? Can we just change the word rect to ellipse 
since it takes in four arguments as well. Let's try it. Okay, so it almost worked, but you can see that because an ellipse function, the first two arguments are the x and y coordinates of the center of the circle. We need to add one small piece, which is we want to shift everything by column size divided by two and row size divided by two, right? We want to shift by half of the circle to the right and half of the circle down. So what do we need to add? We need to add column size divided by two plus in the first argument and in the second argument, you wanna add row size divided by two plus. And there you go. So now you have a grid of circles, four by four of a total of 16 circles. Try changing the values of the columns and the rows. Try the first approach where you identify the size instead of the number of columns and the number of rows and see what happens. Give it a try.